So human beings, that's you and that's me. We're quite remarkable creatures because we have access to the intelligence of the universe in a usable way. And what that means practically is that we know exactly what to do and what to say in each circumstance. We have access to the most comprehensive kind of intelligence that has ever been discovered. And the most painful of all denials is the denial of our true identity as this wide open intelligence that knows exactly what to do and what to say in each moment. And this intelligence is accessed in a really simple way this relaxed potency of seeing everything clearly, of understanding ourselves clearly, understanding other people clearly, understanding the way our society and our environment works and the effects that our behaviour and actions have on all of those different systems. And so we access it just by relaxing for a short moment and allowing all of our data streams, all of our thoughts, emotions, sensations, all of the descriptions, just to flow on by. And the reason why this very simple practice allows us to tap into this intelligence of the universe is because in that moment, in that short moment of allowing everything to be exactly as it is, we align ourselves very clearly and directly with reality. And so what is the nature of reality? Well, we can look at our own experience for that. And we can see that all thoughts, emotions and sensations, all descriptions, all labels, all concepts, all of this different data appears spontaneously and then resolves naturally without leaving a trace in the pristine purity of your mind. It's like a, a line drawn in water. So as soon as we draw that line in water, it just self-releases naturally. There's nothing we need to do for that to be the case. But somehow we've learned that we need to struggle with our thoughts, emotions and sensations. We've been trained to use our minds in a way to try and sort out and order and make sense of these fleeting descriptions. And this does make life a struggle, it makes life a challenge, it makes life very confusing, it makes life very uncertain. So what I saw more and more for myself was that all of my experience was like a rainbow appearing in space. And I just find that such a beautiful metaphor because it speaks to me very directly and very clearly. It's not something I have to really think about. But when I do think about it, it's, well, you know, can I say whether a rainbow really exists or not? I mean, I can, I can see it clearly. It's a beautiful rainbow up in the sky. But um, most of us haven't even entertained the idea of going and trying and measuring that rainbow or the metaphor of the pot of gold at the foot of the rainbow. And it's a metaphor for the foolishness of really thinking that the rainbow exists. And yet this is the same misperception or misunderstanding that we have with all of our data that are also just like rainbows appearing in space. We think we need to measure them. We think we need to hold on to them and work them out. And instead when we relax and just allow that rainbow to be exactly as it is, then we appreciate the full beauty of that rainbow. And what's obvious is the vastness of space within which the rainbow is occurring and from which the rainbow is inseparable. So again, that's a beautiful analogy for the way that all of our thoughts, emotions and sensations, all of our data, are inseparable from this vast sky-like open intelligence. So this is the intelligence that's looking through your eyes. This is the intelligence that's hearing everything that you're hearing right now. The intelligence by which you know you're here. 
And in each short moment, that intelligence becomes more and more obvious. It's like the sun rising in the morning, just gently rising and outshining all of the stars and planets that are predominant at night. So each time you make that choice just to relax and to allow this relaxed potency to be obvious, you shift the emphasis from all of the complicated struggle to do something with all of the data, to analyze it and to work it out and to look for meaning in it and find connections and try and understand what's going on based on all of these ever-changing descriptions that are like a rainbow appearing in space. And you tap into the vast mind by which everything is known. Completely wide open and clear. Clear like a sky. And so what you get used to is the fact that you do have this incredible power and responsibility as a human being. And to deny that is to really deny our full potency, to see that we are these open-ended knowledge creators, these open-ended benefit creators. And we redefine our experience. So rather than living in a world of unreality where we try to attribute all of these different natures to everything that we experience. We describe our world as a world of subjects and objects. And yet in reality we cannot find a single thing that has an independent nature, separate or apart from this wide open intelligence. And so we go around in this fog of confusion this fog of misperception, of really believing that everything has this independent nature and has a power over us. And so with our speech we see that really clearly. And um, it can be very, very powerful just to take a little time to take short moments with the urge to say something. And what I saw when I began to do that was all of the ways that I had been trained to use my speech and had taught myself to use my speech. All of these contrived ways of being. You know, using my speech to, um, to try and impress people. Using my speech to try and make people laugh because I thought that was what was make people comfortable and would allow me to be comfortable when people thought I was funny. Using my speech to um, fill the space of feeling uncomfortable with nothing being said. And so it's fascinating for me to apply this practice of short moments with this urge to speak. And to be clear on all of these different ways that I had used my speech. Using my speech to try and show people how intelligent I was. Using my speech to show people how much I knew, how much experience I had how fascinating my life was, probably compared with theirs. And so just to get clearer and clearer on all of these subtle data streams that have informed our speech and our actions. And so to take a short moment and just to pause before saying the first thing that comes into your head, for me was an incredible practice and really fascinating to get clear on all of these things. And then what I began to see was this responsibility that I had with my speech and that actually my speech was this incredible gift and I could use my speech in any way that I decided to. So I could use it to continue playing out all of these different ideas and really limiting beliefs about who I was and how I could use my voice or instead I could rely on this sky-like intelligence and use my speech to be a tool to be used of, in a way that was of most benefit to all. And it's great to discover this complete naturalness and relaxation in all situations. So I don't have to contrive anything. My focus on all of these descriptions about needing to behave in a certain way to be accepted have also completely relaxed as I recognize these two as rainbow-like appearances that I could either focus in on and give myself a hard time and immediately feel tense and anxious or I could relax completely and tap into this open intelligence. 
the intelligence of the universe. It's the same simple choice in each moment. And um, as was shared, the, the approach of taking it one moment at a time is perfect. Now that's aligning ourselves with, re with reality. We only have this moment right here and right now. So what are we going to do with this moment right here and right now? We can focus in on the descriptions, on the data streams, try and make something out of them, try and figure out exactly what's going on, work really hard, feel completely tense and awkward, and not know what to say, or at least not feel certain about what to say. Or we can relax and tap into the intelligence of the universe. That's your choice, that's your responsibility. And it's a responsibility that brings great ease and great joy, so it's not a heavy burden to bear. Suddenly there's this lightness around all situations. If everything is a rainbow appearing in space, then we can approach it as such. We can approach all situations with this open heart. Completely sensitive to what's going on, sensitive to what will be of most benefit. Because that's what we actually want. We want to have this skillfulness and this capacity in our lives. And so here we find a really simple education that allows us to access this intelligence on a daily basis in our everyday lives. Short moments repeated many times until open intelligence is obvious all of the time. So in each short moment you realign yourself with this reality of complete perfection confirming that reality for yourself in your own experience. And the relief of allowing everything to be as it is, even for an instant, is so powerful and so direct that it's undeniable. And then we repeat that practice. So with something like self-blame, you know, really giving, a hard, uh, giving ourselves a hard time about something that we've done or something that we've said, which was something I did all of the time. Just to give yourself a break from doing that, just for a short moment, and relax. Immediately that, that beneficial potency is felt very directly. We see that we don't have to do that anymore. But the habit is so ingrained, we've trained ourselves to do that. So again, we start off in that focusing on the descriptions. Oh, you idiot, why did you do that? Why did you say that? You shouldn't have done that. You should have said this and not that. Again, repeat the short moment. Allow that data also just to self-release naturally, like the line drawn in water. Align yourself with, with reality again. And these short moments are so powerful that very gently and very naturally you find yourself being able to allow everything to release naturally, without any struggle at all. So this is the effortless nature of life and the effortless, effortless nature of reality that you introduce yourself to each short moment confirming that for you in your experience. And because it's in your experience, it's really, really powerful. You're not reading about it in a book. You're not hearing about somebody else's experience. It's your own direct experience of the actual nature of reality. The actual potency that you possess as a human being. Each short moment is to give up the denial of who we really are. And um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't really like to say too much about how this would apply to bringing up children because I don't have any children. I do have some ne nephews and nieces who I love spending time with and it's become so much easier and so much more natural through the reliance of, on open intelligence. But what I do see in this community is some parents doing some really remarkable things. Relating with their children in a way that I just find completely miraculous. Totally open-hearted and empowered relating with your child from the day it's born. Taking responsibility for your data and being this powerful example of what it means to rely on open intelligence. Um, I don't know if you remember being a child like I do, but I, I can remember thinking back to you know, the, what was going on around me and looking at the adults and the way they were behaving. And that's what I copied. 
That's where I learned my behaviour and how to use my speech. So whether you're a parent or not, the most powerful gift and support that you can give to the future generations is by you claiming your birthright as open intelligence and its beneficial potency and demonstrating that for all of them. And this is the way that what we're doing really has this context of the importance within human society and the future of the human race. Because each of our demonstrations is seen by everybody in our life. And so the impact each one of us has is enormous, like, like ripples spreading on a pond. Each of us demonstrating what it means to be an empowered human being. And although that might sound, sound like rather a grand concept, to keep it simple one short moment at a time. Right now is our chance to demonstrate that. Right now we have that same simple choice. How are we going to use our speech, our our mind, our bodies, our qualities and our activities. And to discover this innate morality and ethics of knowing exactly what to do and what to say and what will really be of most benefit, not based on any learned concepts or ideas that we've absorbed from other people, but based on our own wisdom and our own intelligence, the intelligence of the universe. That's what we get to know in each short moment. <laughs>